Good morning, guys. I am coming to you in hopes that you had a wonderful start to your day. It is a beautiful morning outside, so I am bringing the story outside to you inside or wherever you are sitting right now. So guys, today there's something in my attic. The Raven's laughing at it. So, Sweet Peas, this book is written and illustrated by Mercer Mayer. Now, he is the same author and illustrator as The Little Critters. There's also another book that is There's Something Under My Bed, which is a great book as well. I think I have that somewhere in the classroom, but um, the classroom right now is kind of off limits. So, but today, guys, there's something in my attic so let me move this so that way you guys are good to go and here we go i was never afraid of anything when we lived in the city but now we live on a farm at night when the lights go out i get scared because I can hear a nightmare in the attic right above my head. When I was little, we did not have an attic in our house, but I did think that there was something under my bed, that's for sure. It doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem to bother mom and dad. They say it's probably mice. Sometimes we hear things go bump. But it sounds too big to be mice. I decided to lasso that nightmare and bring it down to show them. I'd just be brave and sneak quietly into the attic with my lasso ready. A lasso is what a cowboy or cowgirl uses to rope something. And what it is, is it's um, a hole or it's a, it's a loop in the bottom of a rope and then the rope goes through the loop and it makes um, the lasso portion and then you can pull it tight and it keeps whatever's inside of that loop from moving. It wasn't there, but I noticed a bunch of toys I thought were lost lying in a pile beside some box behind some boxes. Something weird is going on for sure. Then I heard it creeping up the stairs. There it was standing in front of me with my brand new teddy bear it had just stolen from my room. Oh, look at him. Look at his face. Does he look like a nightmare? Oh, it would kind of scare me a little bit, but it looks like he's a little bit lonely. Oh, he needed a teddy bear. Hey! I called. That's my teddy bear. Give it to me. But the nightmare tried to sneak back down the stairs. So I chased it. Then I lassoed it. It was hugging my teddy bear so hard, as hard as it could. Be careful, Nightmare, I said, or you'll rip my bear. I tried to get my bear back, but it wouldn't let go. So I pulled it down the hall to my parents' room. She's going to show them that there was something going on. I flipped on the lights to show them the nightmare I captured. I was sure they would be amazed. But 
that nightmares are very tricky and sometimes they just slip away. I'll just have to get my bear back tomorrow. The end. Now, sweet love, sometimes we do have nightmares that just keep keep us awake at night and they do kind of scare us. And so sometimes I know when I was growing up, I had a cat named Max and my kids have seen Max when we had stuffed animal day. And that was kind of a comfort to me. So guys, even with right now being as crazy as what it is sometimes, it can be a nightmare. And so we just need to have that comfort in knowing that, you know what, just like that nightmare who stole the teddy bear, you could probably get it tomorrow. So, sweet loves, I hope that you enjoyed the book today. If you did, give it a thumbs up because that means that other kiddos can hear these books too. And that is always a good thing to be read too. So, dear ones, have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye guys.